Welcome back. New tonight, community members packing Sacramento County's Planning Commission meeting. Why, you ask? Well, they're debating a proposal to install stadium lights at Jesuit High School. Now, the school says they're needed to start playing Friday night football games, but neighbors say they'll create a neighborhood nuisance. A lot of the community is really struggling with how am I going to put my kid down to sleep. Elizabeth Hughes Carmichael home is right behind Jesuit High School's Marauder Stadium, where football and other sporting events are held. She's among the neighbors now protesting plans to install stadium lights. The conditions of approval allow the school to have unlimited activities and games with the lights on. Jesuit High School is more than 60 years old, but its sports stadium has never had permanent lights, so home games and practices had to be played during the day. The school tried out temporary lights for two Friday night football games last season, and now it wants to install four permanent LED light stands that are up to 100 feet tall. The lights would be used for football, soccer, lacrosse, and track and field competitions. We think this is the right thing to do for kids. School president Chris Alling says lights will allow games and practices to be played after the hottest time of day has passed. I've seen people go down with heat stroke. I've seen people need to get put in ice baths, not just athletes, but fans and coaches. Football players say daytime temperatures can exceed 140 degrees on the artificial field. You have to take extra water breaks. You have to take extra precautions to make sure none of us get heat stroke. But people who live nearby fear night games will create a neighborhood nuisance with more noise and traffic. Our community is held hostage and impacted by something we didn't choose and we can't escape from. Well, after more than three hours of debate tonight, just a little over an hour ago, the Sacramento County Planning Commission voted unanimously to approve the stadium lighting plan. Opponents say they're now considering an appeal to the Board of Supervisors.